You're going to have to watch it. You'll strain yourself. That was heavier than I thought. Especially for a girl. Now, the next time you get that big a load, make two trips. <laughs> You're very thoughtful. Uncle oh, Joe, where should I put these? Now, put them up in the baggage rack. <laughs> Easy now, easy. Hey, that's too much for one person. Steve, give her a hand here. Thank you. Don't mess with oh. oh. uh, I hope this is the last of it. <laughs> Me too. Oh, now, kids, I know it's a lot of hard work, but it'll be worth it once we get up there in the woods. We'll forget all about this struggle. That'll <laughs> boy, Joe. Put it out of your mind. Right. <laughs> all right. She wanted to see what her mommy and daddy are going camping in. Oh, well, let the old man show you the inside. It's quite a rig, isn't it? Pride of the Pixley you drive. <laughs> you think it'll hold us all? Oh, easy. We've gone on smaller ones than this. Well, last year, we borrowed Mr. Drucker's truck. Remember, Uncle Joe? Yeah, I remember. Oh, that's right. Mr. Drucker wouldn't loan it to us until we promised Uncle Joe wouldn't do any of the driving. <laughs> yeah, what a sore head. Just because I had one teeny little accident with his crummy truck. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Have I got some thrilling news. Yeah, what is it? I talked Orrin into going with us. Oh, boy. There goes the weekend. What's the matter? Nothing. I think it's splendid. Don't you, Betty Jo? Terrific. Three whole days. That'll give you plenty of time to work on it, won't it? Yeah. What? Oh, what's all this? No better place to trap a man than in the woods. Who'd want to trap her? She would. She'd like to marry him. You're kidding. Uncle Joe. Well, she gave it her stamp of approval. What's the matter? Nothing. Bobby Joe invited Orrin to go with us. Oh, great. Nice guy. Wished everybody thought so. Oh. Uh, Joe? Look, Joe, I, I know you're not particularly fond of him. You can say that again. But he does have fine qualities. He's uh, wholesome, clean cut, honest, uh, conscientious. I'm waiting for you to say pain in the neck. Then I'll not. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Bobby Joe. You know Uncle Joe. His bark is worse than his bite. He'll come around. Psst, Bobby Joe. Did you break it to your uncle about me going along on the trip? I broke it. What did he say? Well, he... He... I was afraid of that. <laughs> Maybe I won't go. Orrin, come here. Hi, Betty Joe. Hello, oh, Dr. Frey. Hi, Orrin. Orrin, you know you're welcome, don't you? Oh, sure. Sometimes I just get the feeling. Well, you are. We all want you, right, Janet? Right. Besides, this could be your chance to get on the good side of Uncle Joe. Oh? Well, he's never seen how you operate in the woods. Oh, yes, he has. That's how we met. I gave him a citation because he had too many fish in his possession. But you were only doing your duty. Right. And this is different. Well, three days of camping will give you plenty of opportunity to really shine with your knowledge of the woods. Yeah, I hope so. I know so. Why, I can't miss. Well, how can you be so sure? You've never seen Orrin operate in the woods, have you? No. But I've taken a stroll down to Ziffel's Hog Pond with him. <laughs> he does okay there. <laughs> Joe, cry on. Talk about telling the whole world. Sorry. Oh. That's all right, Orrin. It's our secret. We'll see you first thing in the morning. Oh, and don't be late. We want to get a good early start. Oh, don't worry about me. Punctuality is my middle name. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's 2 o'clock. Uh, I'll call in my noon report. <laughs> Where is that guy? You told him we're leaving the first thing in the morning. He'll be here. You never noticed me holding up the parade. It's how about that, Joe? For once, you're on time. Yeah, how come? Because I'm reliable, that's why. I'm reliable, trustworthy, conscientious, and dependable. And he also slept in the camper. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hope I'm not late. You are. Oh, well, I just uh, got worried that somebody might have forgotten to get some insect repellent, so I ran into Drucker's store and I got some. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, it's better safe than sorry. Did you hear what he held us up for? That's a good thing, too, Joe. We did forget. Oh? Well, get aboard. I've never heard of this kind. I don't suppose you checked it out to see whether it's any good. Oh, sure, sure. That's the latest kind. You just uh, press that little button there. But before you do, you got to be sure that it's not... <laughs> 
facing right. <laughs> what? The bugs are sure gonna hate you. <laughs> Finish there, man? Yeah, that ought to do it. Fine. I'd like to have everybody around for a little powwow. Girls? Janet? Janet? Uncle Joe, could you please hold it down? We've just got the baby to sleep. Okay. Now, I'd like to lay down a few rules so we don't run into the usual pitfalls of camping out. Oh, that's very sensible, Joe. Naturally. <laughs> now, number one is dividing up the work. You girls can handle the cooking. Janet? You're in charge of first aid, bites, cuts, or anything like that. And Steve, you're in charge of getting the wood and the water. Norrin, you're in charge of keeping things clean and orderly, and that's all. <laughs> Joe, with all those duties, aren't you leaving out someone? Oh, yeah, a dog. You keep on the lookout for wild animals and snakes. Bark if any come around. <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly who I had in mind, Joe, but you. Oh. Well, I guess all the jobs are taken. I just sort of supervise. <laughs> hey, this man. Sir? Yeah? Listen, as long as we're talking about some of the pitfalls of camping, there are a couple of things that uh, wouldn't hurt to mention. Like what? Well, like reminding ourselves uh, how very important it is not to leave food scraps around. Oh, we always clean up before we leave. Well, that's not the point, Bobby Joe. You see, food scraps attract animals. Now, ordinarily, I mean, you know, animals aren't going to come around humans. But if there's food lying around, they might pick up the scent and come after it. That's a good point, Oren. Yeah, you ought to get a merit badge for that. <laughs> now, there's nothing else. Oh, but there is. What is it? Well, um, I, I'd like to suggest that uh, nobody leave the camp and go out alone out into the woods. You know, there's always a chance that some person might get hurt. You know, fall and slip or something while they're hiking or maybe even get bitten by a snake. Things like that. Oh, you're making a fun trip out of this. <laughs> Well, I, I just thought I'd mention a few precautions to avoid trouble. And very wisely, too. I think we should do as Oren says. I think so, too. I agree. That's right. <laughs> yeah, well, let's get on with the chores. I'll uh, go get some water. Uh, by the way, uh, when we do get water, let's all remember to get it from the part of the stream that's rushing over rocks. Oh, sure. Do it the hard way. Don't dip it out of the pool where it's easy. Look, this water is all from the same stream. It ain't divided up, you know. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, he's right, Joe. We learned that in survival training. Always get running water if possible, and preferably rushing over rocks. And it should be going at least six miles an hour. Oh, brother. Anybody going after water after this better take along a longer speedometer. That makes sense, Joe. The rushing of the water over the rocks purifies it. Gosh, Oren, you sure know a lot about the outdoors. Oh, well, it's my job. Anything else? Oh, no, not right now, but uh, I'll probably think of things from time to time. And when I do, I'll speak right up. <laughs> oh, goody, we can hardly wait. <laughs> now, you see, Kathy Joe, you thread the worm on the hook real careful so it'll look appetizing. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Some doctor you are. Oh, Joe, hurry up and put it in the water, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Women. They're really something, ain't they? Oh, I forgot you're one, too. Well, present company accepted. <laughs> Miss Gray, that's what we needed to get away from everything. Hey, what's down here? Nothing in the whole world would be this wonderful. Could it? Honey, did you, did you hear what I said? <laughs> what, what are you thinking? Poor Oren. Oh, come on. What's 
the matter, darling? Well, here I am trying to be very romantic, and all you can say is poor Oren. Oh, I feel so sorry for him. He's trying so hard to prove himself, Uncle Joe. If he tries any harder to prove himself, he's going to get killed. Oh. Don't you have any romance in you? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to say. Let's make. <laughs> no, it's too hot. Want to rub noses? No. The shit can't. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. That's better. Steve? Hmm? You know something? What? This is what I want for Bobby Joe and Oren. Well, good luck. Hope he does better than I'm doing. <laughs> I know what it is. It's that Oren. He's jinxed the screen. Oh, now, Joe. Maybe you're using the wrong bait. What would you suggest? Marshmallows? Well, that's a good idea. Well, I mean, maybe they've had dinner and they want dessert. <laughs> Don't you ever dare tell anybody I'm using this. Cheese? What's wrong with using that? Well, that's the thing. Fishermen, real fishermen, sort of look down on it. Too easy, huh? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. How's the fishing? Fine. How's the swimming? Oh, cold. <laughs> hey, Uncle Joe, there's nothing in here. Who told you you could look in other people's creeds? Did you get skunked? It just so happens I'm experimenting. Are you trying it the hard way? No bait? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Art. Why, they're sure biting today, huh, Mr. Carson? <laughs> he got skunked. I did not. He was probably standing upstream of churning up the water. No, 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 that, that's downstream. <laughs> I have no fish around here. Might as well go back to camp. Boy, you mean you couldn't even catch any with cheese for bait? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that. I, I didn't. I, I just meant that I didn't think you'd stoop to. I didn't mean that either. I meant. I meant that. Well, I mean, you know, I didn't think you were one of those kind of fishermen. <laughs> Let's change the subject. Yeah, and get back to camp. Hey, wait a minute. I think we got a bite. <laughs> Not with that toy. You're hooked on a snag. Pull it loose. Come on, darling. Let's pull up our line. Oh, look. She got one. Look, honey, we caught a fish. <laughs> oh, what a big girl. And she's only one year old. Hey, we ought to get a picture of this. And Mr. Drucker could put it in the Guardian. How about it? We get her with a fish and you with the, your empty creel. And, and underneath the caption could read, Baby Girl Skunks Veteran Fisherman. <laughs> Boy, that's a, that's a real human interest picture. The kind everybody likes to see. Yeah. Well, almost everybody. <laughs> Okay, now who's next? Oren? Yeah, come on, Oren. Hey, Oren's Oren's great great idea. You really mean? Yeah. Sure, come on. Well, I just happen to have the old ocarina here. <laughs> oh, What'll it be? Uh, Blueberry Hill, Funiculi, Funicula. Just call out your request. It's so it's one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> Funiculi, Funicula is Uncle Joe's favorite song. Oh. Isn't it, Uncle Joe? Uncle Joe? Hey, look. He's doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'd all better turn in. Uh, no offense, Oren, but uh, oh, no. it has been a rather big day. No, that's all right. The old ocarina will keep. <laughs> Maybe I'll just practice up and give you a whole concert tomorrow night. <laughs> Great. With any luck, we'll get lost in the woods. Steve, <laughs> don't you dare get lost without me. <laughs> Got to kind of watch it in the night air. It's kind of damp, cold, you know. No sense taking any chances. Bobby Joe? Yes, all right. How am I doing with your uncle? Well, fishing this afternoon wasn't so good. But zipping him up so he wouldn't catch cold, that was a good touch. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Yeah, oh, I hope so. Well, uh, good night. Good night. <laughs> okay, everybody, come and get it. Breakfast. 
breakfast is ready. Eat it up. I'm coming. Wouldn't you know that would wake him up? <laughs> oh, no. Get me out of here. <laughs> Carson. Oh, some darn fool zipped me into this thing. Oh, well, that was a precautionary measure so you wouldn't catch cold. You, huh? I might have known. I don't have you out of here in a jiffy. You ought to thank me for this. You had a good night's sleep. You know, you, you could have gotten a chill or caught a coop or a lot of things. <laughs> yes, sir. The nights, the nights out here, they get pretty cold. <laughs> Kelly, you know something funny? What? I think you're permanently zipped in here. <laughs> it ain't funny. Come on, breakfast's waiting. Get me out of here. Got my jackknife here, and I'll just rip down the side. No, no. I borrowed this from Sam Drucker. He'd make me pay for it. <laughs> what am I going to do? First things first. Get me to the food. <laughs> talk him out of it. Oh, forget it, Bobby Joe. The longer I stay here, the worse things get. Pretty soon your uncle won't let me see you again ever. Look, Oren, why not stay in there and keep pitching? I mean, you can't do everything wrong. <laughs> I mean, the odds are against it. Well, well, right now I don't even know what I'm doing, right or wrong. But where's Joe now? He's down by the creek fishing. That's it. Oren, Joe hasn't caught a fish since he's been here. And you're three times the fisherman he is. Oh, well, I'm... No, never mind the modesty. You are. Yeah, well, that's only because I found this great spot where anybody could catch him. Well, then take him there. He'll love you for it. You really think that'll make a difference? Yeah, I know it will. You can't miss. All right. I will. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Steve, that's a great <laughs> idea. It must be working, don't you think? Must be. Orrin's been gone over an hour. Congratulations, Bobby Joe. Your troubles are up. All... Oh. What happened? Oh, I, I didn't know he was standing behind me until I made my cast. <laughs> Where are you going, Joe? Some place where I can get a good night's sleep without any interference. Good night. Good night, Orrin. Good night. Good night. from the camper. Maybe we can scare him off.
everybody stay still. Uncle Joe, don't do anything to irritate him. Tell that to him, not me. <laughs> Poor Uncle Joe. <laughs> Hurry, Steve. Look, the bear's going away. Joe, that was close. What happened? Well, for some reason, the bear just walked off into the woods. Well, if your best friends won't tell you, a bear will. <laughs> Is everything okay? Oh, here's our brave game warden. Uncle Joe, the bear just went off into the woods. Oh, good, then it worked. What do you mean? Uh, uh, Mr. Carson, did you by any chance to leave some food scraps lying around? Of course not. Oh, maybe part of a sandwich and a little piece of meat. <laughs> I thought so. That's what attracted Mr. Bear. He finished that, so he wanted something more. And the something more was me. <laughs> What's that got to do with your running away, Orin? I'm sorry, but... No, 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 I, I didn't run away. I, I took that honey that we had for breakfast, and I put it over there in the woods. There's nothing a bear likes more than honey. Oh, oh Orin, that's great. Right. Right. No, 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 it was nothing. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean nothing. Orin, just... Let it lay. Mm. Well, I always kiss people who save us from bears. Thank you.